Alrighty guys, how we doing? Uh, surprise video for me. Wasn't expecting to be opening anything like this anytime soon. Uh, my amazing fiance stopped at the store and got me something. Been a little uh, stress letter business the last uh, few weeks, so um, she's nice enough to give me that. And a couple Modern Masters 2017 packs. So we got a little something extra here to open up. Um, always dangerous buying those loose packs. So we'll see. This could be gold or it could be nothing. Um, she's got me a few boxes over the last year, and they've been pretty lucky, pretty good boxes for the most part. So we've got some good stuff here. Um, let's see where we go with this. I've already opened a lot of this, but all oh, these babies are still fun to open. Uh, zip to the uncommon slot. Teleportal. Cool artwork. I don't even know I've gotten one of those. I feel like I don't recognize that artwork at all. Might of Old Croza. So there's like a dollar uncommon. Putrefy. Oh! And a fucking Marsh Flats. Alright. So there we go. She paid retail for him. $9.99. But that right there gets the job done. All right, Marsh Flats, and a foil Ruthborn Defenses. Very cool. All right, good picks to start. Maybe they could be back-to-back -back bomber packs. Let's see what we get. One I was looking for. Still haven't got a Missy Rainforest yet. I've got everyone else on those. So that's what I'll still be on the prowl for. Agent of Masks. Golgari Signet. Guy is Anthem. I like that artwork. It's a cool card. And a Graph Digger's Cage. Not bad. It's three or four dollar card. Um, and a common. Seal of Primordium. Actually, very cool foiling. That was a cool card. Two, two good packs. I mean, honestly. I mean, two packs of value. Two great packs, to be honest. 20 bucks. I think there's, I don't know, $25 or so of cards right there. I don't know what Marsh Flats is. It's in the low, low 20s. The beverage, always the best beverage. A Miller High Life. All right, this goes over into the pile that I've been opening lately. Oh, man. It's a lot of dollars right there. Figure with this, I've opened uh, what three Modern Masters 2017, Modern Masters 2015, about a thousand dollars worth of boxes in the last ten days. Maybe I have to sell a couple cards off here and throw them on TCG player. All right, into the Aether Revolt. Um, not sure what's going on with this set. I shouldn't say that, I know. There's not a lot of value in this set, I don't feel like right now. Uh, most expensive card is still Heart of Kiron. I'm looking at the price guide right now. It's thirteen forty six. It's down from... I got one right when it came out. Um, I think I sold it. I can't remember, honestly, to be exact. But I sold it for $22 or whatever it uh, was valued at. Um, yeah, so... Could be something more going on with the set. We'll see what comes with the new sets coming out. But we've always got those... Possible masterpieces, right? So we'll see what we got going. We got a what a thirteen dollar card, eleven, nine, six bucks, six, five, four fifty, four, four. Uh sold both my fatal pushes when they're like three bucks. I so I've only opened one box of this. Um my reasoning was, at least with the newer sets I'm trying to go with, I'm only gonna open a box or I'm gonna open boxes until I no longer hit uh, masterpiece cards or whatever they're going to be called. They're changing the name from set to set, I guess. Just adjust that a little bit for you guys. Aeronaut, Admiral, Treasure Keeper, Aerial Modification, and Yahini, Yahani, Undying Partesian. Planes. We'll say some spoilers came out in the last day or two. Really love the new Full Art Lands and. Almond Cat, or whatever the hell it's called. I don't know how to pronounce it exactly. Ooh. Treasure Keeper. Fishing Construction. 
Airdrop Aeronauts, and a Peace Walker Colossus. Trophy Mage, Restoration Specialist, Hungry Flames, and an Inspiring Statuary. Uh, I'm not sure if you guys have checked out, probably by the time this video is up, obviously, it's on the spoilers. Not sure how I feel about those new Masterpiece cards. Um, not, a huge, not a huge fan, to be honest, the way they look. Um, almost too far off the beaten path of what a Magic card looks like, um, to me at least. Invigorated Rampage, Salvage Scuttler, Hungry Flames, Kari Zev, Skyship Raider, and a Foil Common, Aether Herder. I worked with the Foil over here. I'm trying to back this up a little bit so I have a little more space. Yeah, not really liking those new masterpieces that much, at least so far. Let's see what they actually look like. You know, in person, per se. Um, kind of surprised at some of the cards. I mean, there are some classics in there, but they're like... You got what, Dark Ritual, Counterspell, Mind Twist, I think, like, two, three dollar cards? I mean, I get that they're going to be rare, but I feel like all the other ones that have been printed are at least, you know, five, ten, twenty dollar cards. A lot of kind of cheapy cards printed. Malphis Revolutionary, Rogue Refiner, Pima Aether Seer. Call for Unity. Got another foil on here. It's going to be an uncommon. Maybe my favorite artwork of the set, or one of them. Monstrous Onslaught. So, second foil. Uh, as far as I can tell, really nothing of value. Nothing that's even in the dollar range. Could be wrong, though. Treasure Keeper, Lifecraft Awakening, Spire Patrol, and the Gremlins. I feel like a handful of packs I have opened, I've gotten 4,000 Gremlins. That was interesting. They came in backwards. Token. Gifted Aetherborn. Crackdown Construct. All right, there we go. Fatal Push. So nice uncommon slot there. Oh, nice to see. What is it? Five, $5.19 right now. Current market price. Very nice. And a Spire of Industry. I think that's worth a, a few bucks. Um, also, maybe it's not. I thought it was. But uh, I know it's worth at least a dollar or two. Got another backwards token. That's weird. Two in a row. Fire of Industry, four bucks. There it is. Yeah, that's a nine dollar pack. That's nice. That'll make up a little, little value since there's been zero so far. Narman Renegade, Weldfast Engineer, Vengeful Rebel, and Dark Intimations. Fan of that artwork cool too. I like that. I don't know if they're supposed to come like that. I guess they're all coming backwards. It's weird. Aeronaut Admiral. Untethered Express. Airdrop Aeronauts. And a Tezzeret. Seems to me my go to. Pulled one of these the other day in those few loose packs. And another Tezzeret. Alright. Um, what's that? It's actually less than the Fatal Push, huh? $3.90. So, um, better than nothing. Not the best, not the worst. Sky Ship Plunderer, Hungry Flames, Efficient Construction, and Heroic Intervention. Actually, a big fan of that artwork, too. I like that one.
Dante's Machinations, Illusionist Stratagem, Barricade Breaker, Call for Unity. Want to get one of those? I really that annoys me. I know this is a small small set, um, small card set, but getting doubles of especially crappy rares. I know we get already a double when you get the foil usually, but two of the same thing. Not a fan. Not a fan. Restoration Specialist, Cogwork Assembler, Siege Modification, and a Hope of Giffifer. Girifer, Girifer, and a Foil Swamp. Can't go wrong with the Foil Lands. Always A, at least worth about a buck, and more nice to add to your decks. Can never have enough, I feel like. Shielded Aether Thief, Monstrous Onslaught, Tezzeret's Touch, and Quicksmith Rebel. All by. Thought there might be a foil for a second. Nice to hopefully see a Walking Ballista, given it's a rare. Second most valuable card in the set. Otherwise, most of the stuff's in the Mythic slot in the top. Only one mythic in, and we're about a third of the way through the box, so that's not great. Weldfast Engineer, Gremlin Infestation, Renegade Wheelsmith, and Green Wheel Liberator. Yeah, so pretty, uh, I don't know, I feel like pretty Dudley box so far. Maybe 15 bucks in it so far. Especially when you're paying LGS price of 122 Lifecrafter's Gift. Sly Requisitioner, Monstrous Onslaught again, and a Planar Bridge. So that's a second Mythic. Um, not worth much. Two bucks. Two twenty. That one and that Paradox Engine always look the same. I think the Paradox Engine is actually worth something. Renegade Rallier, Ravenous Intruder, Perilous Predicament, and a Solemn Recruit. Daredevil Dragster, Foundry Hornet, Thopter Arrest, Yahinis. Undying Partesian. Another, like, that's what I'm talking about, right? Didn't I already get, open one of those up? First card. So, four packs now already doubled up on crappy, worth nothing rares. It's kind of a bummer. Don't like that. Give me at least, even if they're not valuable cards, some variety. Hidden Herbalist, Servo Schematic, Airdrop Aeronauts, and a Quicksmith Spy. So maybe halfway through the box already. It's what, $18, $17 in rare? Pretty bad. Ornithopter, Foundry Hornet, Reverse Engineer, Secret Salvage, Foil Common Welder, Automaton. Only hit in half the box. One rare, that's over two bucks. That's sad. Most valuable card so far is an uncommon. Deadeye Harpooner. Windkin Raiders. Barricade Breaker. Disallow. That might be worth a few bucks. Yeah, 441. Invigorated Rampage, Salvage Scuttler, Siege Modification, and there's a Walking Ballista. All right, there's something. Not a complete loss. I mean, there's no way this box is even getting close to break even without a Masterpiece, but a Walking Ballista is nice at, uh, yeah, 11 bucks currently.
Death Dismissal, Hidden Stockpile, Enraged Giant, Consulate, Crackdown. Outland Boar, Lifecraft Awakening, Spire Patrol, Rishkar, Pima Renegade, that was worth something when the set came out. It is worth $2.91 right now. And a Foil Rare in an Aether Goad Miner, that's probably worth nothing. So, dud on the foils. It's a bummer. Same thing goes through my modern master boxes. Not nothing really going on the foil slot there. Got one okay foil rare, but um, that's not true. Actually, I didn't guess I could get the cavern of souls. That's a big one. Gremlin infestation, Skyship plunderer, ridge scale tusker, and a SRAM senior edificer. Ironclad Revolutionary, Hidden Herbalists, Vengeful Rebel, Scrap Trawler, and a Foil Uncommon, Airdrop, Aeronauts. Got about um, 10 packs left, maybe? Outland Boar, Consulate Dreadnought, Perilous Predicament, Yahini's Expertise. That was maybe worth something at release, but not anymore apparently. Cogwork Assembler, Felidar Guardian, Servo Schematic, Paradox Engine, there we go. Alright, so there's a Mythic. Um, yeah, one of the more valuable cards in the set. $8.70. The top uh, two of the top three cards right now. Ironclad Revolutionary, Lifecrafter's Gift, Thopter Arrest. Greenbelt Rampager and a Foil Alley Strangler. Down to eight packs. Trophy Mage, Deaf Dismissal, Reverse Engineer. Oh, and a heart of Kieran. All right. Well, I mean, for what this box can be, I guess it's getting the good stuff. Uh, fourth Mythic. So top three most valuable cards. Um, again, we'll come nowhere close to even breaking even uh, without hitting a masterpiece. But some nice cards for, for the set, for sure. Love to see another Fatal Push. We feel like we've gotten four of every other black uncommon. Daredevil Dragster, Reckless Racer, Illusionist Stratagem, and another, I believe, SRAM's Expertise. That's our third double up on the rares. Scrapper Champion, Tezzeret's Touch, Reckless Racer, and Glint Sleeve Siphoner. Ravenous Intruder, 
Shielded Aether Thief, Maverick Thopterus, Merchant's Dockhand. Oh, I haven't seen that card. Kind of cool. Four packs left. Will there be a masterpiece? Three out of the five Kaladish boxes I opened, I got masterpieces, so that was pretty sweet. I haven't gotten anyone from Aether Revolt. Granted, that's only my second box. Malfast Revolutionary, Renegade Rallier, Ridgecale Tusker, and a Herald of Anguish. Um, I don't think that's worth anything. Oh, it's four bucks. All right, so that's five Mythics. Um, most of the top end ones, too, actually. So there's just not value in the set, really, from what I can tell. I don't know how I feel. Just not a Modern Masters 2017 box, is it? Not quite as exciting, as exciting. Wind and Constrictor, and another Fatal Push, so that's nice. There we go, two Fatal Pushes. Pima Aether Seer, Metallic Mimic, that might be worth it. Yeah, that's three bucks. Gifted Aetherborn, Pacification Array, Sly Requisitioner, Battle at the Bridge. Last pack, last pack. Come on, we're going to get a Masterpiece. That's just coming backwards. Gaunti's Machinations. Narman Renegade, Crackdown Construct, Life Crafters, Bestiary, and a foil, but not the one we're looking for, Alley Invasion. Um, all right, guys, so that's the box. Um, interesting enough, the foil rare didn't actually get that rare in here. I think we got three double up rares. Um, so one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight foils. It seems about. I don't know. That's towards the top end. I think I've got maybe nine or so before, as low as like five. Um, two fatal pushes, so that's nice. Uh, that's ten bucks. Uh, lacking just in the rare department in this set overall. There might be a couple I missed, but these are four, four, ten, two, or three, and three. So, uh, what do we got? About twenty bucks there. Twenty-two dollars plus ten, thirty-two. And then we got uh, $14, $46, um, 54 53 yeah, a little over 60 bucks. And, uh, barely crusting that, even 50% of what the box costs. So there's just not a lot of value in the set. Um, yeah, I don't know if it was my choice to buy the box. I probably wouldn't have bought in this box. I might have gone Eldritch.